a compound inequality is like a compound word in that it's more than one inequality. So it's two or more inequalities together. So, for example, you can have what we call an or. So x is less than or equal to negative 2 or x is greater than 4. So it's numbers that are satisfying both those situations. Or you can have an and situation, which is x is greater than or equal to negative 3 and x is less than 10. So whatever is in between those two numbers. This is an and can also be written in one line, like negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 10. See, all I did was take this part, x, and x is greater than or equal to negative 3, which is still satisfies the statement right here, and x is less than 10. So literally, x is between these two, just like it's sandwiched in between here. So you can have, there's in compound inequalities in real life and here's an example in order to get a discounted ticket price at Cedar Point you have to be under five years of age and at least five, 55 years old so your inequality if you have to be under five it's x is less than five or you have to be at least so that includes it x is greater than or equal to 55 so I make an open dot at 5 and shade to the left and then I make a closed dot at 55 and shade to the right. So this represents all the people that get a discount. If you drive at least 55 miles per hour but not more than 70, you are driving within the speed limit. So this is going to be an in-between because you can drive in between these and including the endpoints. So at least 55 so your lower limit is 55 at least means it includes it and your upper limit is 70 both of these have closed dots and you're gonna shade in between similar rules apply when you're solving for inequalities so this is a compound inequality with X in between what you're gonna do is you're gonna solve for X and right now it's between, so you're going to do the general things that you do to solve for x. So first you would subtract 3, but this time you're going to subtract 3 from the right-hand side, the left-hand side, and the middle. So negative 12 minus 13 is negative 15, is less than or equal to negative 3x, is less than or equal to 12. Then you're going to divide by negative 3 to all three parts, here, here, and here. What, remember, when you divide by negative, you're changing the sense of the inequality. So it's going to turn into 5 is greater than or equal to x is greater than negative 4. When we write inequalities, we always want to write from least to greatest. So I'm going to write negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 5. Even though this is still accurate, this right here is the better notation. You always want to have your inequalities ending this way from least to greatest. Number two, we have an or. So an or is you're going to solve each of these inequalities just like you did in the previous section. So you're going to divide by negative four. So I'm dividing by negative four. That's going to change the sense of the inequality. Or I'm dividing by negative one. So that's going to change the sense of the inequality. X is less than negative 25. So if I graph this, this is my answer. I'm just going to do a graph of this. I try to think of it as it kind of looks like an or, a o a r on a rowboat. So if you graphed x is greater than negative 3, goes this way in open dot, or x is less than negative 25. To me, it looks like an or, like a rowboat here. And the number 3. You could clear fractions if you want, so I'm going to, well actually I'm just going to multiply all three parts by three to get rid of the fraction, or to get rid of the denominator, or you could multiply all three parts by 15. So maybe I'll do that, I'll 
get rid of the fraction. So if I multiply 15, that's the least common multiple of all of the denominators. So I'm going to lose the fraction right here. So it's going to be 15 divided by 5, which is 3, is less than. If I multiply this by 15, I'm going to be left with a 5 times 2x minus 4. And 15 times 6 is 90. So I'm still going to, when I solve it, I'm still going to get this fraction. So maybe that wasn't the best part, but... So I'd get 5, yeah, I'm down to where I was before, basically. So it's going to be 2x minus 4, less than or equal to 15. Oops, and that is not 15. Right here, that was 6, or 18. So now I'm going to add 4 to each side all three parts. So three-fifths plus four. So uh, this is going to be four and three-fifths, or I could write it, that's, in, that's a mixed number, or I could write it as imp improper fraction, which is 23-fifths is less than 2x is less than 18 plus four is 22. Divide everything by two. So I'm going to have 23-fifths divided by two is 23 Divide by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half, so it's going to be 23 tenths, because 23 fifths divided by 2 is 23 tenths. Is less than x is less than 11. Oh, I noticed up here that I need to um, change this to less than or equal to. So drop that off sometimes so my la final answer is less than or equal to. And the graph of this would look like on a number line, it would be a closed dot at 23 tenths and a closed dot at 11, and you'd shade in between. Okay, number four, I'm going to solve each of these separately. So it's t is less than five-thirds. Solve this one separately. So it's negative four t is less than negative four. So it's t is greater than one. So I have t is less than five-thirds or... Right, and okay, so let's if I graph this one, this is one greater than one, and five thirds is greater than one. So this is actually an and, this is actually in between because it's t is less than five thirds and t is greater than one. So this is actually an in between if you graph it. So you could actually write your answer as one is less than t is less than five thirds. And then down here, to earn a the, to earn a fitness award, your average heart rate while walking must be between 80 and 90 beats per minute, inclusive. So that inclusive is the key word that it, it's including the endpoints. Suppose you recorded 85, 81, and 87 beats per minute on your first three recordings. What are the possible heart rates you can have for your fourth reading in order to reach the fitness award? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an in-between or an and situation. Between 80 and 90 means I need to set up 80 and 80, 90, 89, and it's inclusive. So it includes it. Actually, I'm going to have to have more space. So I'm, I need to have an average. So to do an average, I'm going to add up 85 plus 81 plus 87 plus x because that's going to be my fifth or my fourth reading divide it by four so to average something is you add them all up and divide by the number of numbers that you have so now I'm going to multiply both sides by four or both all three parts by four 
in order to get rid of the fraction. So 4 times 80 is 320. Now I'm going to add up 85 plus 81 plus 87, and I get 253, so it's 253 plus x is less than or equal to 89 times 4, which is 356. So if I subtract 253 from each part, minus 253, I will get 103 at the high end. So I could still get a heart rate of 103 on my last one. And my lowest heart rate that I could get is 67. So my answer ends up being in between. Last part, use interval notation to describe each. So interval notation, remember you're using a bracket if you include the endpoint and parentheses if you don't include the endpoint. And we always use a parentheses with infinity. So looking from left to right, if I start left, the farthest left includes these numbers. So this is going to start at negative infinity. And I keep going and keep going until I stop at 2. And it doesn't include 2. So I'm going to put an open parentheses. Now, um, a U means in union with. It includes. So this part, this part, and this part together. So in union, this part plus this part. That's what that notation means. So now we're going to start at 3 and include 3. So I put a bracket and it goes all the way to infinity. And the second graph. To write interval notation right here, interval notation, it doesn't include anything over here. It starts at 3, and it includes 3, comma, and it keeps going until it stops at 3. It starts at negative 3, and it stops at 3, and it doesn't include it. So we don't have any infinity situation because it's not going all the way to the left or all the way to the right.